Imagine you are building a graphic design application with several types of visual elements, such as circles, rectangles, and triangles. Each of these graphics can be placed on a layer. Then, this newly created layer can be placed on another layer, and so on. You are working on a copy-paste feature, which means you want to be able to select a graphic element or layer and copy-paste it with all the layers and elements it contains. Of course, you can recreate all objects and layers from scratch, but this can be too complicated and expensive. So, you want to be able to duplicate the entire structure, and for that you can use the prototype design pattern. The prototype design pattern is a creational design pattern that allows you to create new objects by copying or cloning existing ones. It focuses on constructing new instances by duplicating existing ones, minimizing the object creation overhead. So, let's start by creating a top-level graphic prototype interface with the clone method. Graphic elements such as circle, rectangle and triangle are subclasses of graphic and implement the clone method to create copies of themselves. Additionally, layer is subclass of graphic and is just an array of other layers or graphic elements described above. Its clone method calls the same method for each layer and graphic element it contains, combines it and returns a new layer. When the user wants to duplicate the layer, the client code calls the clone method on the corresponding prototype. There are only two actors in this design pattern. The main interface prototype defines a clone method, and concrete prototype, a subclass of prototype, implements the clone method to create its copies. The prototype design pattern provides a range of advantages and disadvantages for object creation and management. Enabling the cloning of objects reduces the overhead associated with recreating and initializing objects from scratch significantly. This results in more efficient and streamlined process, especially when object initialization is resource intensive. Additionally, the prototype pattern enhances the flexibility of the development process. Developers can create new object instances simply by cloning existing prototypes. This ability to generate new objects on the fly contributes to a more agile and adaptable development environment. Despite its advantages, the prototype pattern has its challenges. One of the main disadvantages lies in the potential for circular dependency issues. Implementing the prototype pattern can become complex and tricky if the object that needs to be cloned has a circular dependency. This situation requires careful handling to ensure that the pattern is implemented effectively without introducing bugs or inconsistencies in the application's behavior. That's all about the prototype design pattern. See you in the next video.